Welcome to How to Understand Body Language, 6 Behavioral Analysis Hacks. Did you know that over 93% of communication is nonverbal? That's right. Only 7% is based on the words we say. The rest comes from our body language, tone, and facial expressions. Think about this. People can detect lies with up to 54% accuracy just by observing body language. And here's a shocker. Our brains can process non-verbal cues in as little as 200 milliseconds. That's faster than the blink of an eye. In this video, you'll learn how to read these silent signals like a pro. We'll dive into micro-expressions, gestures, eye movements, and much more. Imagine being able to tell if someone is truly happy or just faking it, or knowing when someone's uncomfortable even if they say they're fine. Stay with us as we reveal the hidden language of the body. By the end, you'll have six powerful hacks to read anyone like a book. Ready to decode the unspoken? Let's get started. Chapter 1, Silent Signals, Decoding Micro-Expressions Micro-expressions are those fleeting facial movements that reveal true emotions. They happen so quickly, often in less than half a second, that they're easy to miss. But mastering the art of spotting these can give you a real edge in understanding others. One key strategy is to focus on the eyes. The eyes are incredibly expressive and often the first place where emotions show. For example, genuine happiness usually involves the eyes crinkling at the corners. This is often called the Duchenne smile. Another useful tip is to observe the mouth. Micro-expressions around the mouth can signal suppressed feelings. A tight-lipped smile might indicate someone is hiding something or is feeling uneasy. Dr. Paul Ekman, a pioneer in the field, found that micro-expressions are universal. This means that no matter where you are in the world, these expressions are the same. This universality makes them a powerful tool for understanding anyone, anywhere. One interesting fact, studies show that only about 55% of communication is nonverbal. But the emotions and intentions behind words are often revealed through these silent signals. Practicing with videos or in front of a mirror can sharpen your skills. Try pausing videos at random moments to see if you can catch micro-expressions. This can be a fun and effective way to improve your observational skills. Remember, context matters. A micro-expression of anger might not mean much if someone's in a heated debate. But if it appears during a friendly chat, it might signal hidden frustration. A unique quote from the book, Emotions Revealed, by Paul Ekman, micro-expressions are the closest thing we have to a window into the soul. By becoming more attuned to these fleeting expressions, you can develop a deeper understanding of those around you. This awareness can enhance personal relationships and professional interactions alike. Chapter 2, Posture Power, The Secrets Behind Stance and Movement. Posture speaks volumes. The way someone stands or sits can reveal a lot about their confidence, openness, and mood. For instance, standing tall with shoulders back often signals confidence and readiness. Conversely, slouching might indicate a lack of confidence or feeling overwhelmed. Next time you're in a meeting, Notice who sits up straight and who doesn't. It might give you insight into who feels in control and who might be struggling. Open postures, like uncrossed arms and legs, generally show that someone is open and comfortable. Closed postures, like crossed arms or legs, might suggest defensiveness or discomfort. This can be especially useful during negotiations or tense conversations. A fascinating study by Amy Cuddy, a social psychologist, showed that adopting power poses for just two minutes can actually increase your confidence. Try standing with your hands on your hips or leaning back with your hands behind your head before a big presentation. Another strategy is to observe movement. Quick, jerky movements can signal nervousness or agitation. Smooth, controlled movements often indicate calm and confidence. Did you know that mirroring someone's posture can build rapport? This is known as the chameleon effect. When you subtly mimic someone's body language, it can make them feel more comfortable and connected to you. A fun fact, our brain subconsciously picks up on these nonverbal cues and reacts accordingly. So, even if you're not consciously thinking about it, your body language is affecting how others perceive you. Pay attention to how people hold their heads. A head held high typically shows confidence and interest, while a lowered head might suggest shyness or submission. And don't forget about the feet. People often overlook feet in body language, but they can be very telling. Pointing feet towards the door might indicate someone wants to leave, while feet pointing towards a person can show interest. Chapter 3, Gesture Genius, Unpacking the Language of Hands and Arms. Gestures are powerful tools of communication. 
Our hands and arms say a lot more than we might think. Understanding these signals can give you a deeper insight into people's thoughts and feelings. Start by observing the openness of hand gestures. Open palms often signify honesty and openness. When someone shows their palms, it's usually a good sign that they are being truthful and have nothing to hide. On the other hand, clenched fists or hiding hands can indicate stress or discomfort. It's a sign that someone might be feeling defensive or anxious. A great strategy is to pay attention to self-touch gestures. People often touch their faces or arms when they're nervous. For instance, rubbing the neck or playing with hair can be a telltale sign of anxiety. One interesting fact, according to a study published in the journal Evolution and Human Behavior, people who use more gestures are often perceived as more warm and agreeable. Another tip is to look for pointing gestures. Pointing fingers can seem aggressive or dominant, especially if it's directed at someone. In contrast, using open-handed gestures while speaking can appear more inviting and friendly. A unique quote from The Definitive Book of Body Language by Alan and Barbara Pease, the more you use your hands when you talk, the more persuasive you become. Be mindful of repetitive gestures. Repeatedly tapping a foot or drumming fingers can signal impatience or frustration. This can be a clue that someone is eager to move on or is bored with the conversation. Did you know that crossed arms don't always mean someone is closed off? Sometimes, it's just a comfortable position. However, context is key. In a heated discussion, crossed arms might indeed suggest defensiveness. Another fun fact. Research shows that people who talk with their hands tend to engage their listeners more. It adds emphasis to their words and makes the conversation more lively. Chapter 4, Eye Insights, The Truth Behind Eye Movements and Contact. Eyes are often called the windows to the soul. They can convey a wealth of information about what someone is truly thinking or feeling. Understanding eye movements can be incredibly insightful. Start by observing eye contact. Strong, steady eye contact usually signifies confidence and interest. When someone looks you in the eyes, they're likely engaged and paying attention. Conversely, avoiding eye contact can signal discomfort or deceit. If someone's eyes keep darting away, they might be hiding something or feeling uneasy. An interesting statistic. A study from the University of Wolverhampton found that people who lie tend to blink less frequently. So, if you notice someone blinking less than usual, it might be a red flag. One strategy is to look at the direction of someone's gaze. When people are thinking, they often look to the left or right. This can indicate that they are accessing different parts of their brain to recall information. A fascinating fact from What Everybody Is Saying, by Joe Navarro, when people are interested in something, their pupils dilate. It's a subconscious reaction to focusing on something they like. Another tip is to watch for prolonged eye contact. Too much eye contact can be uncomfortable and might seem aggressive. But balanced, consistent eye contact usually indicates trust and interest. A fun fact. According to research, mutual gaze can trigger the release of oxytocin, the love hormone. This can help build stronger connections between people. Also, be aware of eye-blocking behaviors. Covering or closing the eyes, even briefly, can signal that someone wants to block out what they're seeing. This can be a sign of disbelief or distress. Did you know that looking down can indicate submission or guilt? When someone looks down while talking, they might be feeling ashamed or unsure. By mastering these eye insights, you can read people more effectively. Understanding these cues can greatly enhance your personal and professional interactions. Chapter 5. Facial Feedback – The Science of Expressions and Emotions Facial expressions are one of the most powerful non-verbal communication tools. They convey emotions instantly and can be understood universally. Learning to read these expressions can help you connect with people on a deeper level. One key strategy is to observe the eyebrows. Raised eyebrows can indicate surprise or disbelief, while furrowed eyebrows often signal confusion or concern. Paying attention to these subtle changes can provide immediate feedback on how someone is reacting. Smiles are another critical aspect. A genuine smile, also known as a Duchenne smile, involves both the mouth and the eyes. If someone's eyes aren't crinkling, their smile might not be genuine. According to a study in the journal, Psychological Science, genuine smiles are linked to positive social interactions and long-term well-being. A useful tip is to watch for asymmetry in expressions. Genuine emotions are typically symmetrical, while forced or fake expressions might appear uneven. For example, a lopsided smile could suggest insincerity. Dr. Paul Ekman, in his research, 
identified six basic emotions that are universally expressed, happiness, sadness, fear, anger, surprise, and disgust. Recognizing these can help you quickly understand the emotional state of those around you. A unique quote from Ekman's book, Emotions Revealed, Our faces are not simply a surface that reflects our feelings. They are an essential part of the emotions themselves. This highlights the importance of facial feedback in emotional experiences. Another fascinating fact, according to research by the American Psychological Association, people who can accurately read facial expressions are generally better at empathizing with others. This skill can significantly enhance personal and professional relationships. A practical strategy is to practice in front of a mirror. Try mimicking different expressions and notice how your face changes. This can help you become more aware of the subtle cues in others. Did you know that contempt is one of the easiest expressions to recognize? It's typically shown by one side of the mouth raising slightly. Spotting this can give you a quick insight into someone's disdain or disrespect. Understanding facial expressions can also help in conflict resolution. By recognizing signs of anger or frustration early, you can address issues before they escalate. Chapter 6, Proximity Perception, The Dynamics of Personal Space. Personal space is a crucial but often overlooked aspect of body language. How close or far someone stands from you can reveal a lot about their feelings and intentions. Understanding these dynamics can improve your interactions. One important strategy is to observe the distance people keep. In general, closer proximity indicates a closer relationship or greater comfort. Standing too close too soon can make people uncomfortable, while standing too far away can seem distant or aloof. Edward T. Hall, a cultural anthropologist, identified four zones of personal space, intimate, personal, social, and public. Intimate space is reserved for close relationships, while personal space is for friends and acquaintances. Social space is used for interactions with strangers or formal settings, and public space is for speeches or large gatherings. An interesting statistic from a study by the Journal of Environmental Psychology, people tend to feel most comfortable when their personal space bubble is about 18 inches to 4 feet, depending on the context and relationship. Another useful tip is to observe how people react when their space is invaded. Stepping back or turning slightly away can indicate discomfort. Respecting these boundaries can help build trust and rapport. A fascinating fact, in Japan, personal space tends to be larger than in many Western cultures. This cultural difference can impact how people interact and perceive each other in international settings. A unique quote from The Hidden Dimension by Edward T. Hall, the relationship between man and the space he perceives and uses is an important and often overlooked aspect of human behavior. One practical application is in meetings. Notice who sits close to the leader and who chooses seats further away. This can give you insights into group dynamics and hierarchy. Another strategy is to watch for people leaning in. Leaning in usually indicates interest and engagement, while leaning back can suggest disengagement or disagreement. Did you know that people are more likely to maintain eye contact when they feel their personal space is respected? This is because they feel safer and more comfortable.